yes. to the application which will be made by Degwa. Yes, if there's an application. Yeah. Thank, thank you, thank you, Lordship. Your Lordship, uh, permit me to move on with my application, and I ask Professor Ojenda to have a look at the, the rules that I have just referred to. That Your Lordship, you be kind enough to interrogate the circumstances under which that office shall be filled. Your Lordship, it is on record, and I invite the court to take judicial notice, that there is a clear non-existence of a crucial state organ that is supposed to oversee the processes of filling of that office in the name of the Independent Directorate and Boundary Commission. Your Lordship, the Independent and Boundary Commission is created under Article 88 of the Constitution. And the functions are created therein. One of the functions, your, 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 my lord, my lord, my lady, is to maintain a, a voters register. Is to register voters. Under Article 99, your lordship of the Constitution, as read together with Article 137, creates the qualifications upon which the president or the deputy president must att attain if one is to hold office. My ladies, my lord, it is clear that the functions created under Article 99 of the Constitution can only be executed and or implemented by the Independent Electoral and Boundary Commission. It goes without saying, your lady, my ladies, my lords, that a deputy president designate or nominated must attain those qualifications. That is to mean, your, your, my, my ladies, my lord, that there must be an organ that will give a clean bill of health to say or to suggest that Professor Kidore Kindiki attains these qualifications. My lords, my ladies, I refer to the memorandum that was sent to the Speaker of the National Assembly by the President of the Republic of Kenya, dated the 18th of October 2024. In that memorandum, your lordship, the President drew the attention of the Speaker to the clearance of the, I, of the designated candidate by the IBC. And this is what the president had to say. Lordship, the president indicated that he has had confirmation that Professor Kidure Kindiki meets and attains the qualifications created under Article 99 as read together with Article 113 of the Constitution. Ladies and lords, when the President of the Republic referred to the IABC, and I think I call upon the court to take judicial notice of that document, it was a presumption that that confirmation was done by the Electoral and Boundary Commission as created by the Constitution. But ladies and lords, it's my, my humble appeal that this Honorable Court does fight you know, in my favor to issue the conservatory order on the basis that there is no clearance that has been issued by the IBC. My Lord, we all know, my ladies, my lords. My Lord, may I take you to seek your guidance? Uh, when Mr. Giro started off, we thought it would be a simple and a straightforward application. But now, seeing the trajectory it has taken, he has raised an avalanche of issues for which we would require them reduced in a particular format so that we can seek instructions from our client. So we're seeking that uh, we get a formal thing that will enable us to uh, seek instructions. Remind me, remind me your name. Dr. Kamodo. Dr. Kamodo for the tender respondent. Your Lordship, I am making an application on the basis of the law. 
You're not cheap. If it is not crucial for us to have an IBC to confirm whether Professor Kidore Kindiki is a registered voter, that will mean, Your Lordship, that a person can go to Madare Hospital and designate a person to become a, a deputy president. The qualifications created by the Constitution have a mechanism of being established, Your Lordship. And the process of establishing those qualifications, Your Lordship, is set down and out in law. Your Lordship. Mr. Jiro, my understanding, when, yes, you, when you first asked for this uh, conservative order yes, under, under Madhu paper, yes, sir. it, it that, was... That is his application. Yeah. I have on a different application. I moved it, under to, uh, the, 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 uh, Because my understanding is that if you want the court to give conservatory orders immediately after rendering a ruling or a judgment, that application can be verbal but also very short because the court is already aware, has already expressed itself. That's so that kind of application cannot be the beginning of another big you application. Know, I am well guided. So I think for the purposes of of, of the the of the discretion of the yes, bench okay. for the purposes of the discretion of the bench, yes, I think Mr. Uchiang's Mr. Uchiang's application is what we should should be considered. Your application evidently requires to be formal. Uh, your your Lordship, uh, I, I am well guided by the court, yes. but the court also needs to perhaps appreciate the import of Rule 24. That due to the vulnerability of their rights and the vulnerability of the infringement and violation of the Constitution, I can appear but, but before you... The rights cannot be vulnerable. Individuals are... May, 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 may I have Not my right. time and then have your response, <laughs> Professor? Your Lordship, this application is premised again on Article 3. The call upon every person to protect the Constitution. And as I pen off, it is all clear to us that nobody can deny, not this court, not myself, nobody can bury his head under the sand, that there is no IBC. If Kidore Kindiki is to be sworn in tomorrow, what will be the import of swearing in a person who has not been verified and approved by the organ that is supposed to do so? Finally, Your Lordship, can this court fold its hands and watch and midwife and babysit a violation of the Constitution? What is the role of the court when it comes to the issue of Article 3 of the Constitution and the question of the spirit of the people? Your Lordship, I beg that you hear us. I beg that you grant the conservatory order staying the swearing in of Professor Kidore Kindiki on the basis that he has not qualified to, be, to hold that office. Secondly, on the basis that his purported qualification has not been verified by the body that is mandated to do so. In the absence of that, Your Lordship, you will be inviting us to, to say that even an insane person can become deputy president, a bankrupt person can Objection. become deputy president. Objection. I rest my case. All right. Let me respond to so, so, so that uh, Professor Ojenda and and every other council who is seated, please sit down. We have two applications, and uh, this is not going to be a start of another court process. It's not going to be a start of another court process. The applications which have been made are discretional, so I'll only allow one response only one response and then we'll render a ruling only one response if, uh, Lord, if I may, if I may respond, Lord. Okay. Lord, made a ruling. okay okay let, let me hear let me hear two people from this side and two people and two you're one person <laughs> Dr. Kamilwa, please uh, say what you want to say and uh, be mindful of time, please. Yeah, I want to take my time. Yeah, 
point of view, why are we seeing the security? Because the goodness of the country. You have done. You have developed. It's not